Hi, my name is Ibuko Okunu, and I am a member of the Nelly Mokung Foundation. I want to start by acknowledging that today is International Day of the Girl, and in fact, the United Nations is commemorating its 10th anniversary this year. At the Nelly Mokung Foundation, we wanted to do something special to mark this day and this anniversary. The Nelly McClung Foundation, while honoring the legacy of past trailblazers like Nelly McClung, works to empower, inspire, and celebrate girl and woman leaders in the community. Our vision is for all Manitoba girls and women to be empowered leaders. As a young woman, Nellie McClung was part of a very powerful and dynamic group of women who became known across Canada and the world as the Famous Five. These five women challenged norms and worked tirelessly in pursuit of better lives for women. They were advocates and ambassadors. They challenged the law and they showed the world what can happen when women work together for change. As more and more women in our past challenged the status quo and stood up and said, yes, I can, they opened the doors for women just like us to work in all industries, hold seats in government, be leaders of private and public organizations, own businesses and lead organizations in pursuit of change. Today, when girls in high school are planning their future, the doors are wide open, science, law, trade, Trades, politics, music, you name it. There is still work to be done in this area, but we have come a long way thanks to those women whose shoulders we now stand upon. I am here today to launch our inaugural video series featuring five young women who are in each their own right, breaking barriers and inspiring many today. These women will impress and inspire you, so we encourage you to share their stories with others, and in particular, other women and girls. Here is just a sneak peek at what is to come. These were incredible people that were making sure that we were safe while at the height of the pandemic and beyond. What can I do to help um, support some of these people who have so much on their hands right now? I actually had a mealworm recycling station in my school to show students and teachers just how practical the solution can be. So people could put in like styrofoam from the cafeteria or from their homes and then the mealworms could biodegrade it on site, which was really cool to watch. People would refer to me as like an advocate or I'd say like I'm advocating for this and you kind of get, you know, the title like an advocate or activist. and. But for me, it just feels more like a duty and a responsibility, and it just, it just seems like truly from my heart. Visit NellieMcClungFoundation.com or check out our Nellie McClung social media channels starting on October 18th, and make sure you share these stories.